board this afternoon here at Belmont Park. In she goes, the red lights are on. They're racing. Luke's Gold is the last of them out. Key to fame sprung the gates and is bustled hard with Friar's Gift. They're going to burn across and head off Lord Ludlow. Misty Lad went forward. Red Patty behind those and Festival Miss getting back after the start. Then get over it being followed by Pearl Trade. Grey Enigma, Luke's Gold and back at the tail of the field when they get going is Cryptic Love. At the thousand metres, Friar's Gift on the inside of Key to fame and they've locked horns a long way out. Stride for stride they go as they approach the first corner to leave the back. Misty Ladd was able to drift across there. He's lobbed into a beautiful position here for Harvey at the 800. Lord Ludlow's running fourth. Three quarters Red Paddy. Over on the fence to Festival Miss and one away next is Pearl Trade. Further back on the outside to get over it. Trapped out there three deep at the 650 around Grey Enigma. Luke's gold inside of those and still last is Cryptic Love nearing the corner. They put the 450 behind them. Fryer's Gift and Key to Fame have gone at one another right from the word go and Harvey makes his move with Misty Lad around the outside. He gathered them in quickly. Lord Ludlow searches for the inside run and pikes into the clear with Festival Miss. And here comes the favourite Festival Miss. He hasn't moved at the 200. Now he does. He shakes her up and she quickly drops off Misty Lad. Pearl Trade runs on. So does Cryptic Lover. It's Festival Miss. She wanted to switch off. Pike shook her up again though. Got her mind back focused on the job at hand and Festival Miss won it by a length Cryptic Love from last. A big runner. Pearl Trade might be third with Misty Lad close up as well. In behind them, Luke's goal, Grey Enigma, get over it next in. Then Lord Ludlow, Friar's Gift capitulated and well back Red Paddy, key to fame, also dropped out after getting involved in that duel with Friar's Gift to run a long last. Number seven, Pike gets his first winner up at Belmont Park for the new season. Festival miss, paying the 2 10, 140, cryptic love from the back, last on the corner, storming into second placing, 2 20. Pearl Trade probably third home in front there of Misty Ladd. Festival Miss, the winner of the race, though, is by Bernardini from Fortune Smiles for Peters Investments. who will be very prominent at the WA Racing Awards later tonight, as will W. Pike as the champion rider of last season and trained by Peters Investments, for Peters Investments by Grant and Alana Williams. Festival Miss first, her third win in nine. Second home, number 12, Cryptic Love. Terrific run by my admiration from a bit cryptic. David Harrison, Troy Turner. 11, Pearl Trade is third. A trade fair, dare to risk mare. Alan Matthews, Emma Stent. Fourth is number eight, Misty Ladd. One length, a length and a half. The official margins and the time that the fave has run is 123.94. So uh, Festival Miss Home and uh, William Pike starts the new Metro season officially today with a win. Race 8, the new season sprint, 1,000 at 4 o'clock. Two disposition comes out, nine starters to go in the next race for the day as we head back downstairs. Once again, here's Britt. Thanks very much, Darren. I do have Bob Peters here, the owner of Festival Miss. And Bob, what have you made so far of the, the two performances, the disappointing one two starts ago and then third last week? Yeah, she was gradually improving and uh, looks like she needed to be raced into fitness. And today she certainly showed that she put her best foot forward and Willie was able to give her a lovely ride. Yeah, she looked a lot better today. She looked ready. She definitely did. What are your hopes for her going forward into this campaign? Uh, maybe another one or two runs and then um, we'll put her out for a spell, I suppose. You, your thoughts on her best distance? Uh, I think around this, uh, you know, 13, 1400. Maybe she'd get to 1600, ridden a little bit differently. Well, it's good to see her in the winner's circle. Well done. Thank you. Bob Peters, winning owner with Festival Miss, uh, outlining that maybe she needed to race herself into fitness uh, despite winning first up for over the 1,000 metres. She then just put in that uh, dodgy run second up. Last week was able to uh, finish third behind free trade, so she probably put the writing on the wall seven days ago, and uh, she's not an overly big mare, so uh, the fact that she's been able to race off seven days victoriously is uh, definitely a credit to her and um, another string to her bow in that she can race off a short backup. 
We'll chat to Willie after he's had a chat to Grant Williams as well as Bob Peters and he weighs in. Brad Lewis waiting by the scales and uh, we'll have a chat to Pikey. But it was good to see Festival Miss put her best foot forward. A, a fair bit of pace in that. It was probably uh, before the race we probably didn't anticipate uh, there to be that much pace in it. Misty Ladd looked on paper like it could be the leader but the money was for Friar's Gift and then we saw that horse head forward and Keita Fame as well right in the mix in, at the front. So uh, with that pace on, Festival Miss was able to get a, a really nice run in behind them and uh, once clear was able to let down like a, a good horse does and that's exactly what she did. And we'll speak to Willie now and William, congratulations on the win. A bit more pace in it up front than what it probably looked like on paper. Is that the way that you saw it? I know I thought there was um, I thought there was okay speed but I expected him to back off and uh, I expected to be probably moderate, not uh, not on the faster side. Did that suit you, that pace? Yes and no. Um, I think she's got a very short kick, so I was very vulnerable late getting to the line. But, uh, you know, I'll take that over being lucky any day. How have you assessed her those last couple runs, that when she put in a, a, an underperforming sort of run two starts ago, and then third last week, does she feel back to her best today? Yeah, um, I think she's just one of those horses, when she gets the run she likes, she's very good. And when you don't, they sort of, she's quite a hot filly and they upset themselves. So when she doesn't get that, that run that she likes, I think she probably makes herself look pretty average. Well done on the win. <laughs> Thank you. William Pike, Bob Peters and Grant Alana Williams combined with Festival Miss.